All right, big news for the Georgia Bulldogs program. Look, obviously at this point, it looks like Georgia he- is heading back, of course, to the SEC title game. They, f- they appear to be full speed ahead to the college football playoff as well. But like any great program, Kirby Smart and company are keeping an eye towards the future as well. And they flipped a massive recruit from rival Florida, switched his commitment to Georgia. Big news, according to NBC Sports. Myers, if you pull up the report, I will read from it. Defensive lineman and former, key part there is former, Florida commit Nasir Johnson has announced that he will be flipping his commitment from Florida to the Georgia Bulldogs following his recent visit to the Classic City. In a statement released on social media today, Johnson made his intentions known. Uh, Quote, I just want to thank Coach Napier, Coach Chaos, Coach James, and Coach Armstrong for this opportunity to showcase my talent at the University of Florida. But I've talked it with I've talked it through with my family and prayed very hard on it. And after thinking very hard on this decision, I want to announce that I will be flipping my commitment over to the University of Georgia. Thanks to all those who supported me and still supports me. I will continue to make you all proud at the next level. All right. So this is what I call a great example of a program that is just continuing to build momentum. I say this all the time in the recruiting game, getting commits in the offseason, especially if you're a team like Florida, that's not doing very good right now. It's not easy, but it's not impossible, right? You show a recruit a good time. You've got a bunch of coaches that are constantly calling the recruit. You sell them a bill of goods. You come here, you're a day one starter, yada, 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 yada. It's not unheard of for recruits to commit, especially top recruits like Johnson, to a program like Florida in the offseason. But now that we've gone through a season, and now all these recruits are gone through most of the season, recruits can see where programs like Florida are going, and they can see where programs like Georgia are going. And smart recruits like Nasir Johnson can look at this and say, yeah, I think Georgia's heading in a much better direction. And this is a good example of Georgia's long-term recruiting health. This doesn't happen not just because of your performance on the field, that plays a big part of it, but also doing the work with the official visit, with the visit that uh, Nasir Johnson took on to the Athens campus. If you don't do a good job with the visit, you will lose the recruits. That's the one potential advantage schools like Florida may have. If they're not winning, they can bring out all the stops for the official visits. Georgia clearly did not fall into that trap. So no matter how you look at it, whether it's Georgia winning, heading in the right trajectory, or still staying committed to the long-term recruiting game in terms of making sure their visits and everything that goes into that is smooth and doing a great job, they continue to check all the boxes. There's a reason why Georgia is likely headed into a third straight national title, and there's a reason they will continue to be the best program in college football. They're the best coached on the field on Saturdays. They are also the best team when it comes to recruiting and execution, and the Sear Johnson's flip from Florida to Georgia is a phenomenal example of just that. Myers, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this big move for the Georgia Bulldogs. But look, Georgia fans, the recruiting news is great, but it is Tennessee week. Massive rivalry game this weekend. Give us your prediction. Final score, Vols versus Bulldogs in the comment section below. But Myers, what do you think of this flip here from Georgia's perspective and just everything going on with this program right now? Yeah, no, I I think it's interesting. Obviously, Florida had a lot of momentum recruiting coming into this season, and especially maybe even still coming into the Georgia game. Leading up to that point, they had just beat South Carolina in a thriller, 41-39 to offensive firepower, and I think it was just an exciting game to watch. But then you come into that week where Florida goes up against Georgia. They get absolutely shellacked and go on to lose three straight from there. So being 5-2, and two, not so bad. Coming all the way down to 5-5, five and five, like you said, I think Johnson can see the writing on the wall in a program like Florida like, eh. Probably not where I want to be right now. And let's be honest, Nick, there's a good chance that Florida loses the last two games of this season as well, facing Missouri and Florida State. Those are two tough games. I don't think this looks very good for Florida. They might not even make a bowl game this season, but we'll have to see how it all shakes out. I think Georgia, on the other hand, very easy to see where they're going. They're 10-0. and They have a, a tough schedule to end out the season, but this is a team that is going to be a perennial college football playoff tent contender. Obviously, they've won back-to-back college playoff championships. I I mean, why would you not want to go there? You've seen the endless amounts of defensive line talent that Georgia has pumped out to the NFL, and they've had tremendous success at that level. I think this is just a no-brainer move for a guy like Johnson. This is a guy, tremendously talented athlete. He does multiple things well. He's a a two-way player in high school. Uh, His big-time shot put discus state championship in uh, his school. He was very good at both holds records at his school for both events. This guy's just overall a very, very good athlete, and I think he's going to thrive at Georgia. 
Because I think when you look at a school like Georgia, when you're a young player, you, you look at who are they sending to the NFL and how are they doing it. And that's just really how it is nowadays for Georgia defensive players. You look, who have they sent to the NFL? They've got like 10 first round picks in like the last two years. It's just really unprecedented. The level of talent Georgia's pumped out. No brainer move for Johnson. So I think this is a really smart move by him. And another thing to understand, and what just makes what Georgia is doing is so impressive, is that any time a program can go through a recruiting change, there's always a year or two where your rival wins a cycle, right? We saw this with Alabama a number of times in their dynasty. They would have a few years where maybe LSU would out-recruit them. Obviously, the Joe Burrow transfer year where LSU ran through everybody is a great example. Heck, even South Carolina under Steve Spurrier had a number of years where they were recruiting up and above a program like Georgia in the SEC East. What's so impressive with Georgia, and it's a credit again to the recruiting staff and Coach Smart and everybody involved, is that they seemingly don't have a down year. And even when there are opportunities for them to have a down year, remember, they're competing day in and day out for national titles. It's a program like Florida, let's be honest, at this point in the season, has a lot more availability to focus resources on recruiting than Georgia does. Georgia's doing everything humanly possible, obviously, to continue their undefeated streak to win a national title. Florida, like you alluded to, is almost expected to finish five and seven. No one would blame them if they did at this point. So if you're a program like Florida, you say, hey, let's spend more coaches on recruiting. Let's spend more time trying to get more recruits in. Despite that, and despite the way that can work sometimes against teams' advantage, especially in the SEC, Georgia once again is winning the recruiting battle. What Kirby Smart has done and continues to do in terms of recruiting is unheralded in college football. There's no reason to think this era of Georgia dominance will end anytime soon. They just have the ability to churn out commits, 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 and flips all the time. And they do it without even caring about the transfer portal. They're one of the few teams in the SEC that doesn't use it pretty much at all except for select circumstances. What Georgia's doing here is incredible. It's almost historically great at this point. I'm not a fan of the Bulldogs, but I think at this point, you got to look at them and say what Kirby Smart's doing is all kind of stuff, all all time kind of stuff down in Athens.